When I was two years old, my father went on a walk with a friend and they found a stray cat. They brought it home and my parents decided that I could keep it as a pet. And they gave me the opportunity to name my new pet. I was two years old and I came up with this, I don't want to brag, but I came up with this incredibly creative name. I called my new pet cat, Caddy. I am sure that at two, I did not realize the meaning of that name. She, frankly, was a little catty. Um, but two years old, what are you going to come up with? So I called the cat Caddy, okay? And for the next 12 years, my pet cat, until I was 14 years old when she passed away, was Caddy at my bedside. Why am I telling you this story? Because if I asked you why in this week's Torah portion, when the mana falls from heaven, why was it called mana? Why did the Jewish people give it the name mon? Interestingly, the commentators have a debate about this. One commentator says because the word mun means food. They called it food. It was food from heaven. Another commentator says, no, mun means gift. It was a gift from heaven. So that's why they called it mun. A third commentator says, no, you're both wrong. And I'll prove it to you. The passage says that when the mun first fell from heaven, landed on the ground, the Jews saw it in the morning, and each one said to the other, mun who? because they did not know what it was. So they called it mun. Now, if it meant food, why would you call it food if you don't know what it is? If I wake up in the morning, walk outside, and on my front lawn, there's this fascinating, weird, strange substance covered in dew, my first reaction, my first instinct is not going to be, why don't I eat it, see how it tastes? Also, why would you call it a gift? Maybe it's poison. The passage says they did not know what it was. So why are they naming it? So instead, this third commentator says, mun is an Egyptian word. It means the same as ma in Hebrew. It means what? So this is how you read that passage. Each one looked at the other and they said, what is that? Because they did not know what it was. So mun means what? The problem with that explanation is later when they named it, why would they name it mun meaning what? Why would you name this food, this miraculous gift from heaven, what? That's an awfully weird name. That's even worse than calling a cat, catty. And you don't know the excuse that you're only two years old. They were older and wiser than that. So maybe we can suggest the following. Maybe they called it what? Because they wanted to recapture that original reaction. When they first saw that mon, they didn't say, what's that? They said, what is that? I mean, the substance is covering the wilderness as far as the eye can see. What in the world is that? They've never seen anything like it before. It's an incredible sense of wonder when they find out that it's food, miraculous food from heaven, and it's time to name it. Maybe they want to recapture that sense of wonderment and that sense of gratitude to God. You know what? Let's call it what? Let's recapture that original what in the world is that? And if that's the case, then what a great takeaway lesson for us, because that's how we should feel about everything we have in life. Everything. What? What did God do for me? The roof over my head, the food I eat, the clothes on my body, the friends that I have, the relatives that I have, the income that I make, everything that I have in life. Wow, what an incredible gift from God.